thank you to the Wayne Trace cheerleaders. We're here with the football team of Frickers. Let's hear it, guys. I am enjoying the chicken bacon ranch pizza and second year coach, head coach, longtime coach, 15, 16 years, Mike Spies joining us here at Frickers. We want to say thank you to one of our great partners here on WOSN, getting ready to to have this season kicked off against your rival. Just how excited are you for, for week one? Well, you know, ever since uh, week 10 ended last year, these kids have put in the time and the effort, and they've grown uh, physically, mentally. And, uh, you know, we've had a great two-a-days, a long two-a-days. Some of them, we had a nice scrimmage on Saturday morning. So, um, you know, we're just preparing for August 25th. So young last year, those guys that were young got experience. How much have you already seen that experience pay off here in the preseason? Probably on the first two a day, quite honestly. Uh, you know, we had went to team camp at Bluffton University. That's something that we did. We have fundraisers uh, in the fall and the spring, and uh, we elected to use the, some of that fundraiser money to go to Bluffton University, and we stayed on campus there for three days. And, and uh, that was just a great learning experience, a learning tool, put them on a college campus. Some of them had never been on college campus before, so they got to, to stay, they got to lift, they got to practice on, on a football field. So it was just a great experience. And, and then when two days did get started, uh, I feel that we were probably three or four days, maybe a week ahead of schedule. And that two a day started at 12.01 a.m., the first day you could practice. Tell us about that, that night and what it was like. Well, we got to the high school around seven in the morning, excuse me, seven in the evening, and uh, we had Tent City out there on the practice field. And, and of course, as soon as the tents were up, they had to get their TV set up and, and their Xboxes and their PlayStations and, and uh, all that kind of stuff. And uh, at 12.01, we kicked off the season there with the two-a-day. Uh, we had some parent involvement this year. And uh, when we were finished with practice, we had a full-scale breakfast, which everybody got full uh, about 4 in the morning. And, and most of us sat down in the chair and went to sleep, but there were a select few that stayed up the entire night playing Xbox. You talked to me before about this is one of the tightest teams you've ever been a part of in, in all your years of coaching. Experiences like that really bring it out, don't they? Yeah, I, and I've let the kids know that um, this, this group may be the tightest group that I, I've had the privilege to coach uh, as an assistant or varsity, you know, the head coach. Um, you know, whether you're a freshman or senior, they all get along. And uh, they're everybody's brother, and, and if you're going to have good success, um, you know, I feel that you got to be a family, and, and we definitely got a family in 2017. Tell us about the team. What will we see on the field? Who are some of the guys that are going to be leading you? Well, you know, we're going to run a spread offense. Uh, I like the spread. Um, we're going to see four or five wide. We got, uh, we got a nice offensive line with Jordan Saylor, Quinn Stabler, uh, Nate Showalter will be a sophomore stepping in, their center. Uh, right guard. We got a nice battle between Braxton Asher and Matt Stolfer and a right tackle. We got Caden Bland, you know, a quarterback. We got Trey Sin coming back. Um, Hunter Showalter at running back. Um, and we have uh, Josh and Jake Coon, a couple twins that are going to talk in a little bit. Eli Sin at a slot. Uh, Cor Corbin Slade at a slot. Evan Moore at a slot. Uh, Gabe Sin at a slot. We just, we got several kids. Um, offensively, what I, I like is we have uh, a good competition, whether it be a quarterback, whether it be a running back. We are competing for starting positions. We're competing for, for playing time. And uh, with, with, with good competition breeds good success, and, and we've had good success so far. Taking a look at your schedule, it's loaded up and down. There's rivalry games. There's good playoff games. We'll have the week two matchup with McComb and Wayne Trace, new on the schedule, which is a game you were excited about adding. Then you get into Green Meadows conference play, and we were talking before, it's a pretty even league. It seems like it's going to be 10 weeks of battle for you guys. Yeah, you know, I did an interview with the Crescent News up in Defiance, and they asked who the clear cut favorite was. And, and you know, my answer was, you know, Every week, if you're not prepared to play in the conference, you, you can get beat. And hopefully, we just put ourselves in position in week nine and 10 to be fighting for a conference championship. Division seven this year, with the new way that the playoffs are, are taking place, you'll go north in region 26. Uh, do you talk to the team about that when they came out? Was there discussion, or did you just want to take care of business? Yeah, we, were, we talked about that when it came out, but ultimately, it's a decision um, or, or just a mindset that we have to take care of week one, and then we can take care of week two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then see where we're at. And as long as we take care of business each week, we should be sitting in a good position for week 11. 
We talked about Bluffton University with plenty of connections there with some Wayne Trace guys up there. Colby Space finishing up uh, his career as well. You were part of the Legends football camp with some of those guys too. What was that experience like this summer? That was, uh, you know, when when they when Colby said Mr. Miller got a hold of him and asked me to come along, I. I jumped at that opportunity, and, and what a great experience that was, not only for the youth in Lima area, but for uh, you know myself, just to interact with other other great coaches from from Northwest Ohio, and it was it was fun, uh, great experience. As you get ready for week one, what are the things you're really trying to tighten up? You know, we just uh, you know after the after the first scrimmage, I thought we did pretty well. Uh, we didn't start out initially the way we wanted to. But, um, you know, with first scrimmages, uh, you see big eyes, you see out of breath, uh, you get a, lot of, uh, a lot of emotion. After the first couple of sets of 10 that we ran when we got into the quarter phase of our, of our scrimmage, I thought we were right where we needed to be. Uh, we showed progress throughout the entire scrimmage, and uh, overall I thought we blocked pretty good. We ran nice routes. Um, we threw the ball well. We ran the ball well. Um, you know, defensively, I thought we got to the ball, and when we got there, we tackled. and, and that was, that was nice to see. Yeah. Well, exciting year ahead for the Wayne Trace Raiders. We'll take a break now. When we come back, we'll talk with some of the players. We're here at Frickers with the Wayne Trace Football Preview Show here on WSN. Get you ready for football season. We are inching our way towards week one. We've got a busy weekend of games. All starts Thursday with the rivalry game up between Defiance and Napoleon. Then four big games Friday that you can catch two Friday, two Saturday. It's going to be a fun year of high school football as we're joined by three of the seniors from Wayne Trace. To my left is Eli Sin in the middle, Quentin Stabler and Hunter Showalter down on the end. Eli, senior year, high school football. How excited are you for, for it to be finally here? I'm excited and ready to get started and should have a good year, so we're real excited. So young last year, what did you learn personally with, you know, not a new coaching staff, but a new head coach? You had to learn Coach Spies' ways, and what, what did you take away? Uh, yeah, we were young, quite a lot of young kids, first time ever playing, and uh, uh, we had the same goals. We just got out to a different way and ready for New Year this year. Quentin Stabler, how's the offensive and defensive lines looking? Uh, we're looking pretty good. I think we've had a few returning from last year and some new comers up on the line, and I think we're looking pretty good right now. We're at Frickers, so we always have to ask the linemen, how many wings can you eat? What do you think? Um, I've never tried. Maybe 20. Uh, Maybe tw I think you 40. What do you think? <laughs> Fifth, 60. Who's the biggest eater on the team? Um, Noah Real. <laughs> You had to think about it, but everyone else seemed to know. I knew it, but <laughs> <laughs> dramatic effect. Very nice. Uh, scrimmages. Well, what does that mean for you? Just getting in the, the flow of things. Seven on sevens. Not a lot linemen can do during those, but finally in those scrimmages, you get a chance to see another team. Uh, we're just working on uh, being uh, working on the basics, making sure keeping uh, right footing and uh, learning drive, like getting keeping our driving right, and just working on everything in basics. Hunter, show Walter. Competition at the skill positions. What's that been like for you? Um, we have a lot of athletes. Every position's deep, so competition is really the main thing in all of this to get better. Because if you have competition, you work harder. I think of Wayne Trace. We think of a high flying offense, lots of action or practices. Do they feel that way very fast? Oh yeah, definitely. At Bluffton University, what did you guys uh, take away from that, Hunter? Um, we came together really like fast early on in the three days we were there. It was more of a team building than getting ready to play football. What were some of the team building things you guys did, Eli? Uh, we had a full team, coaches involved, seven on seven one night, and my team won. I had Coach Kenny on my team, wherever he's at. So that was always fun, real nice. And uh, one night we had a wrap. Each, each class would come up with a wrap. And the seniors obviously had the best one, so. So we, we have three seniors here. Can you rap for us right now? Uh, no, I got sore throat. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne Trace getting ready for their opener. We'll have week two's matchup between McComb and the Raiders. And we'll talk to a couple twins when we come back here at Frickers. It's the Wayne Trace football preview show on WSN. <laughs> We are Wayne Trace. We are Wayne Trace. 
We are with the Wayne Trace Raiders here at Frickers, trying not to cause too much of a controversy on the team rap, so we won't talk about whether the seniors, the freshmen, the juniors, or the sophomores won that, but we were talking with a couple of twins, Jake Kuhn and Josh Kuhn, a couple of receivers, defensive backs. Is there sibling rivalry between you two guys? You're ready to jump in, it looks like. Definitely it's a sibling rivalry. You should have seen us at the other practice. You got into it a little bit, but it helps us get better and work as a team, I guess. Do you agree? For sure, but I always win. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on opposite sides of the field when you're receivers or yep. defensive backs? Yep. So you complement each other, they keep you away from each other. How excited are you for the season to start? Couldn't be more excited. Couldn't be more excited. I'm pretty pumped. <laughs> you look it. You look really excited. <laughs> uh, what, what's this, the two a days been like for you? What was that uh, first practice like for you? I like the midnight practice because we get a bond and we get to play like 2K tournaments and have a good time. And I don't know, practicing until 4 in the morning is kind of fun. Who won the 2K tournament? I think Eli Sin and Nate Gerber won it. How, how did two guys win a tournament? You play like two on two black oh, two tie. On two. Okay, I got you. Did you partake in the tournament as yeah, well? Yeah, I didn't do so good. Okay, you went home early, went to bed. Yeah, I went to bed. You were a smart man. Uh, here, here at Frickers, favorite kind of wing? We want to know. Probably barbecue for me. Okay. Barbecue boneless. I usually don't put sauce in my wings. Is that really a wing if you don't put sauce on it? No, it's not. Yes. Anybody else in the crowd not like sauce? We got one in the back. You're not alone. Congratulations. This team is tight. They stand up for each other and what's going on. Uh, we talked about competition early on. A lot of wide receivers, a lot of skill guys. What's that been like for you guys? It's just always busy competing against everyone and getting better. And yeah. We're always fighting for a position. You never know. Some spots you don't know who's going to start yet until week one. So it's good competition. Lots of rivals. Would you say Crestview's a big rival? Paulding, you know, who, who do you put up there first? Uh, Paulding's not much of a rival anymore, but. <laughs> so, I don't know, Crestview and Hicks will be good rivals this year. Okay, okay. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's all you got, guys. <laughs> Wayne Trey's getting ready for a big season. We'll have their game against Macomb coming up at week two, and of course, all the highlights on Sports Report as well. Thanks to these guys and Coach Speaks for joining us. Thank you to Frickers as well. More coming up with the Van Wert Cougars and those Crestview Knights here on WSN.